We already talked about how the Fed uh, continues to be aggressive in words and actions to address inflation um, on the demand side. Um, what about the supply side of the economy? What tools do policymakers, the Fed, Congress, the White House, have to boost the supply of goods and services in the economy? Is it tariffs? Is it something else? They don't have great tools, right, to expand the supply side. They can, you know, they can affect the costs of production and, and distribution of goods and services. So tariffs are one piece. Uh, a lot of tariffs on inputs and, you know, We've got them on, on aluminum and steel. We've got all the China tariffs. You know, we've got uh, an array. And there's an open debate uh, within the administration about getting rid of some of those tariffs to ease the pressure on, on prices, and that'd be a good idea. Uh, the Biden administration has uh, an enormously expensive regulatory agenda and, and closed the books on the first year with a, uh, the highest number in terms of regulatory costs that we've se ever seen in our tracking, over $200 billion in one year. They might want to consider easing up a little bit. That that makes every small business uh, struggle to to sort of meet those regulatory requirements. It's expensive. That shows up in consumer prices. No way around it. Uh, but I don't hear any discussion about, uh, coming out of the administration. So we, we shall see.